Laca. Arizona Governor Katie Hopp speaking at the Casa Alitas migrant sh shelter this afternoon on how the state is preparing for Title 42's expiration. As Nine on Your Side's Kenny Dar reports, despite a plan from the governor, they won't truly know if it's enough until Thursday. If there's anything to take away from Governor Hobbs' press conference this week at the Casa Elites' migrant shelter, it's that the state just simply isn't ready for the influx of migrants ahead of Title 42's expiration later this week. Arizona state officials bracing for chaos ahead of Title 42's expiration on Thursday. It doesn't appear that the federal government is prepared. Governor Hobbs announcing a five-point plan focusing on public safety, partnerships, transportation, shelter and executive action as she reassures the state's border towns. We stand with you. We are here to support you. The state stands prepared to scale up its transportation, shelter and public safety activities to meet the needs on the ground. The executive director of Casa Alitas, Teresa Cavendish, says they're bracing for migrant numbers in the thousands later this week. A drastic increase to the hundreds they typically process any given day. We receive around 650 or more folks every day to this location, coming in from um, places all across the border. One of the biggest resources for shelters like Casa Alitas is funding. Cavendish says they primarily have relied on federal money over the past year. There is an increased ask back to FEMA to provide more funding support because as our needs grow, as the resources that we seek to provide grow, obviously more funding is necessary. The need for more money may not be more urgent than it's ever been. However, the governor is saying some funding has been secured, including $7 million from the Border Security Fund. As local and state resources look to get pushed to its limits later this week. Reporting from Casa Alitas, Kenny Dar, Kega 9, on your side.